Winter Guard is filled with dance and flag work and across the floor dance work and stuff like that. I saw a sign for it on the band door and I was like, hey, that looks really cool. And so I took a picture of the poster and I went to the auditions. My favorite part of Winter Guard is getting to interact with the with my friends on the team. My favorite part about Winter Guard is the competitions where all of the girls get together and they get ready and the excitement you get and then when you're performing up there it's just enthralling, it's really fun. And then afterwards we get to go eat somewhere really fun and we get to spend time and get to know each other. I think the season's going to go really well. Uh, there are a lot of new 7th graders who are going to need some help along the way, but I think once we get all figured out it's going to be great. 200 years ago, a fault in the New Madrid Fault hit Missouri, destroying the whole town of New Madrid. That earthquake also did major damage to St. Louis, which is 163 miles away. That fault is going to eventually hit again. Scientists are not sure when. There is a very wide range of when this could hit. It could be tomorrow or 700 years away. It is always a good idea to be prepared. In the case of an earthquake, stay where you are and drop onto your hands and knees. This position protects you from being knocked down and also allows you to stay low and crawl to a shelter if nearby. If a sturdy desk or table is nearby, crawl underneath it for shelter. Once you are under a shelter, hold onto it with one hand and be ready to move if your shelter shifts. If no shelter is nearby, crouch down in the nearest corner and hold onto your head and neck with both arms and hands. If you are outside, stay where you are unless you are by any buildings, streetlights, and utility wires. If so, then move away. Being prepared for an earthquake can reduce the fear, anxiety, and losses that accompany this disaster.